Am Jesus. I looking at you or I'm looking at the cameras? Me. Okay, me. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not <laughs> going to come <laughs> My name is Fola, Fola Odioko. Uh, Fola is a Nigerian security engineer that works with Amazon, um, who recently moved to the US via South Africa and works and lives here now in Seattle. You mentioned you're from Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Born and raised? Born and raised in Lagos. Like what? Giddy. <laughs> okay. I've been intrigued by science since I was a child. Mm -hmm. I love science. Yeah. Right? Um, I knew, <laughs> I tell folks sometimes that it was Dexter's laboratory. I don't know if you ever saw that. Yeah, Dexter's lab, yeah. So Dexter's lab was definitely one of my inspirations in life to be a scientist. I love yeah. the cartoon. Um, yeah. I love cartoons by that guy, Kennedy. I don't remember his name. He has a Russian last name. Mm -hmm. So he made Dexter's lab, Powerpuff Girls, and some other cartoons. I love his cartoons, right? Particularly like Dexter's lab. And from Dexter's lab, I, you know, I was so intrigued by, you know, like the tech, his lab, you yeah, know, press this button and then he just this goes stuff to the floor. Like, yeah. I just loved it, right? I just under like understanding how things work. It's always, it's just, that was just the underlying thing. And this wasn't something that I picked up from the world. I think I was natural from the interesting, the like, you yeah, just want, just to, want know. to know. You're asking these questions. Like, asking yeah. questions, like, asking questions and understanding what the heck is going on. I did a holiday job, mm -hmm. um, like a one month holiday job in a place close to where I lived. Mm -hmm. um, and that kind of just introduced me to certain tips and tricks, you know, like Windows operations, right? Mm -hmm. um, so going back to school, I used that knowledge to probably do some business, I think, mm -hmm. right? Like, you know, formatting hard disks. Like, you know, the, the Windows operational stuff that folks would not know, mm -hmm. you know, like, you know, formatting your system. I could charge money for that. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. You know, your, your computer is broken, you need to just kind of start afresh. Yeah, just clean I would have all the OSs. Yeah. I have like Windows 7, Windows Vista, you know, this is my You had it on. I had the, everything, the, like, you know, I have it on the hard disk. Yeah, just. I had like all the office cracks. You know, <laughs> you know what you call my recipe, but you know, I know you guys yeah. want Microsoft, you know, I was definitely <laughs> part of the nah. black market, the pirates. <laughs> I was a pirate bay person. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that was that. Then in um, university, I did six months internship program. Mm -hmm. that's, that's when I started learning like Windows, um, Windows administration. Mm -hmm. um, so that was fundamental. That was where I started Windows administration. A bit of networking. I had OS knowledge mm -hmm. in Windows. I had networking experience as well. Mm -hmm. um, so married those two together and then security was just like the offspring of that. The offspring of that, yeah. I didn't like the life of the code. I didn't like to dev. You, so you, I knew, you yeah. didn't like our life? I didn't like your life. <laughs> so I was like, no, nah, I don't want to do this. Mm -hmm. um, and I, being from Nigeria, um, I think I learned pragmatism or like, you know, just, you have to understand the reality of the situation. So that means that I was more focused towards careers that I knew had rewards in them, mm -hmm. like financial rewards. Yeah, you know, I yeah. was more focused towards that than anything. Yeah. My real passion probably would have been geography. Mm -hmm. but geography doesn't pay, right? So mm -hmm. what, what am I doing there? Why am I getting money for something? Like, why am I studying something that I will get paid for? Yeah. Um, I remember one, of, one certification had come out at that time, CompTIA Cloud Plus. Mm -hmm. That was the first cloud certification mm -hmm. ever. This is way before there was anything like AWS certification, Azure certification, GCP, mm -hmm. Alibaba. This was back, back like when it was still like, what's a cloud? There's private cloud, there's hybrid cloud, there's mm -hmm. public cloud. At that time, I think I knew AWS, but it wasn't um, because AWS had already started at that point, but it was nowhere what it is right yeah, now. Yeah, it wasn't that um, big. It yeah. was tiny, tiny stuff. Um, so I was like, okay, cool. I can be good at this, right? Mm -hmm. Because maybe I felt like I couldn't be as successful as I would want to be in being a dev. Mm -hmm. So I was like, since I still had the knowledge of comp science, let me apply it in something that, you know, mm -hmm. um, can still make me some bread, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, I was a jack of all trades. I would mm -hmm. do everything. I was just wanting to learn, right? Mm -hmm. And that was really my position. You wanted to absorb as much as information what, as So yeah. yeah, so my restrictions were off the table. I took every restriction of, okay, I must, it must be this or, I didn't care. Like, mm -hmm. let me just learn. You know, at this point I want to learn. Okay. Yeah, fast forward to 2015. Um, I still kind of wanted to do that, but you know, reality made me pivot to something that was more realistic. Mm -hmm. um, and that was what I was doing at that time, endpoint security, mm -hmm. server security. It just threw me into the world of like anti-malware, antivirus, anti-spam, um, vulnerabilities, um, patching vulnerabilities, mm -hmm. um, pen testing. 
so that whole world was open to me by mm -hmm. you know starting off in this role that was endpoint security related i explored you know what I, I was willing to do whatever i didn't know where i wanted to end up mm -hmm. i was just okay cool this is what i got right mm -hmm. if they were if i was to you know learn email security i'd go learn email security to deploy email security products because it was a suite of products yeah there was the endpoint security, there was server security, there was email security, um, what else? There was mobile security. And the security, you have to understand the ecosystem you're protecting, otherwise you can't secure it. Yeah, you'd be surprised. It's really interesting. Like security, there's no dull moment in security. It's how, how it's, do you handle that though? How do you handle that um, high tension? Always on your phone. Yeah. Like, yo, like I think it's part of my nature, down. right? Yeah. It's, mm -hmm. I've, you know, when I look back now, I've been working for since 2014. Mm -hmm. um, I look back and I can see that I could handle it, mm -hmm. right? It's not fun going through it. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. Like, <laughs> I'm walking through it, I'm like, yes. <laughs> no. And it's never fun going through it. It's, 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 yeah, like, I'm, I'm not, I'm done. Yeah. Why, why me? That's how you feel going yeah. through it. Yeah. But um, I look back and I'm not like, I wouldn't do that again. Yeah. Um, I remember getting the email on LinkedIn, or a message on LinkedIn from a recruiter in Amazon in Cape Town. This person recruiter comes and tells me there's a role, you know, for me if I'm interested in it. Mm -hmm. uh, it took me five months mm -hmm. from the time I got contacted to the time I got the job. Uh, Amazon interviews are like you're going. It's like when you go for the congressional hearing. <laughs> you know how they grill you. They grill you for time, and it's not just one time. Um, so you'd start off with like a technical screen, mm -hmm. just asking you, okay. Um, choose a field that you're comfortable with. Mm -hmm. OS, Linux, OS could be Windows or Linux, databases, programming, networking and security. No, not security. I think networking. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. You shall pick a scenario and they throw you into a VM and they give you a set of problems that are broken. So it's kind of like hack a box kind of situation, right? Mm -hmm. um, they give you a VM and tell you to connect to the VM. So VM. V VM, yeah. Connect to the VM and um, try to fix what the problem is, right? Mm -hmm. 45 minutes. Um, so you do that, once you're done doing that, so, so you flew from yeah. Lagos to Cape Town? Lagos to Cape Town, all mm -hmm. expense paid, uh, put me up in a hotel for two days. And mm -hmm. at this time, it was not just me, right? Mm -hmm. So there was a window within when Amazon in Cape Town was really expanding mm -hmm. for the cloud support engineering. And they were pulling folks from India, from Egypt, from Nigeria, from Brazil, from everywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. They could get technical folks because I think they were lacking that amount of technical folks locally. Mm -hmm. So they needed to pull folks from everywhere. So I think there was a time frame when you know this was happening over like a five-year period. We were hiring people. So yeah. it was recruitment, um, referrals, people applying, just pulling people down to South Africa. Mm -hmm. um, and so I flew down there. I wasn't even in the mood for like tourism or nothing like that. <laughs> like yeah, yeah. I was like, yo, this is. I need to get this job, exactly, man. Like, yeah. I can't come this far. Yeah. Uh, you fly me down. I'll, I'll see the bills and I come into the office and I don't get that. Like, yeah. no, so like I was reading the entire day before. Super focused, super locked in. Then go for the interview. It's a five five hour long interview from like seven a.m. to like twelve p.m. or one p.m. something like that. Um, and you get interviewed by folks that would um, you would work with. Mm -hmm. Or feel like you had imposter syndrome, like oh, hundred, like I'm all, like this till is today. <laughs> till this day, yeah. <laughs> till this day, I'm an imposter. <laughs> I don't know how I got this role, man. Yeah, you're just like I'm an imposter, man. They'll soon find me out and be like, yep. Nah. Well, how is this guy doing here? <laughs> Like, who, 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 who hired you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys, you're, 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 getting, you're getting a decrease in your salary. Guys. <laughs> okay. How do you, how, how do you handle, I, I have ways that I handle my own. I, I just roll with it. Like, it's not a big deal for me. It is what it is, right? Yeah. Um, I think I understand why. Mm -hmm. It's because I see standards. Mm -hmm. High bars being set. And I'm like, can I do that? So the first thing is asking yourself, can I set this high bar if mm -hmm. I'm called upon to do it? Mm -hmm. and you have that doubt about yourself. But what I realize is we have different ways of shining. Mm -hmm. And more importantly, you have to look inwards to see how you can develop. If you've identified where your, your areas of weakness is, mm -hmm. right, you know these are your areas of weakness, so you don't feel bad about that. Mm -hmm. Because you know, okay, I need to know what to do to fix this. I know what to do to fix this. Yeah. I haven't done what, I'm confident that once I do whatever I need to do to fix those areas of weakness, I'll do what I have to do, right? Mm -hmm. And the beauty about it is, because we work in such a very massive field that it's, the amount, the, the rate of change in security is insane. Mm -hmm. It changes every flipping second, right? Mm -hmm. um, there are new threats, there are new, you know, something tiny can just throw the whole thing into work. Mm -hmm. And so, no one person has everything covered. You want to move fast. Mm -hmm. Imposter syndrome prevents you from that because you think to yourself, is this good enough? Mm -hmm. 
Sometimes you just really need an MVP, man. Yeah, you just need like... Get a POC, mm -hmm. push it out there, start working on it. Don't get too hung up on, you know, certain things. And let it move and, you know, you feel fast. So you can like reiterate, 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 reiterate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The first thing is really never the best. Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. So that makes sense. That's, yeah. Uh, where, where do you see yourself in the future in terms of tech? Will you still be doing network security or is it for you, is it more like... Is there a point where you spoke about that continuous learning, right? Um, something for me where I, I write code now, I'm writing apps, building the systems, putting them in the app store. After a while, I'll be like, I don't know. Me and you, we've had this conversation off camera, right? Where it's like, where's the max? Where's the peak? At what point do you say, all right, network security is enough. I want to go into construction. Or I want to go do something, right? What's that next thing for you? Um, you know? I don't know. Uh -huh. And looking back on my career, I have enough data points to show that I have not been successful at projecting my future. Okay. So I really don't always project it. What I rather do is to focus on how I can improve to be a better person. So I'm competing against myself every day. Mm -hmm. You know how you have in the combine, Simul Cam, mm -hmm. where they have like you or somebody else who has run the 40 yard dash uh -huh. running against themselves. Yeah. So I'm constantly running against myself. Mm -hmm. But what I also do is I onboard what I see or that, like I look, at other people mm -hmm. who are way older than me mm -hmm. and way more experienced than I am mm -hmm. and see, ask myself if I can see myself in their shoes. Mm -hmm. Would I do this when I'm 40, 45, 50, 60? Would I still be here? Mm -hmm. Would I still be doing this kind of thing? So that kind of allows me to gauge. When I look at that, I'm like, I wouldn't do this in, at that time, right? Mm -hmm. Then I know, okay, I can tell you that when I'm 50, I'll definitely, I can tell you for sure that I doubt I'll be doing, I can't tell, but. 40, I definitely will not be doing what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Um, but what's next for me? I think um, I, I, I don't put that hard limit on what I would want to do. Mm -hmm. I'm still trying to figure out where or what it is that I want to do. So <coughs> I would never stop learning. Like, that's never going to stop for mm. me. Yeah. So, where, the, where that's going to lead me, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, I know what's not good for me, and I won't do that. Yeah. I'll only do what I think is good for me. Mm -hmm. um, I may still be a security engineer, still. I may pivot to something else. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not quite sure yet. But I know that for the time being, for the future, the field I'm in is red hot, mm -hmm. or white hot. <laughs> um, so yeah. I will keep learning in order not to stay, become obsolete, mm -hmm. which is a big fear of mine. Mm -hmm. There's anything that scares me most is how quickly you can become obsolete in this field. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so quick. It's so quick. It's so, so quick. It's scary. Yeah, it's so quick. It's scary, man. Um, yeah. And so maybe I'd rather divert my energies to some other thing. So I think, I, I, I know that for me, it's going to be something I'll be natural at doing. Mm -hmm. um, I believe I'll be a good leader. Um, mm -hmm. But I think there's work for me to do before I get there. Yeah. So again, so see. It, it's setting that bar high and seeing how best I can attain it.